and with these sure why not and there we go so triple the burning of the uh, iron and uh, uh, okay so this is severely oh crap stop attacking me damn it okay so this is already out of fuel but well I didn't put a whole lot of fuel in it so I guess that's why simple reason so we need one more burner drill so let's get it I assume holy crap that's a lot of plates actually so let's uh, build another burner drill and well copper does not seem to be in need of another one so eh, sure why not Iron plate 84, copper plate 50, and coal 75. So I need 150 iron plates. No problem. I need 75 coal. That is, however, a bit of a problem, actually. So we don't actually have that. But really, we don't really need to keep these going. All we need is coal. I mean, I assume that we have 50 copper plates. Yep and we need some coal so let's just mine some coal I assume it's pretty much the best strategy at this point because the only thing we really need to keep going are these three here we don't really need to put coal in anything else it doesn't really matter since the quest you know so let's see here 24 out of 75 should be there soon I mean, I guess I could put another arm on uh, p picking coal. Though it's a lot of work for pretty much nothing. 66 out of 75. Almost there. And we are there. Whew, that was some hard work, but I think I might have everything I need now. Whoops. It's time to move on. So yeah, that was the uh, second level. It took 16 minutes. That's pretty, pretty freaking long, actually. But whatever. I'm recording all of these in pretty much a line, so whatever. We'll see. Okay, other products can be made in the furnace. The furnace can smelt stone bricks from stone and steel from iron. The steel needs to be researched. Okay, makes sense, I guess. What's the next? two sides of the belt. The left and right side of the transport belt can be used independently for different re resources. Inserters put things on the distant part of the belt. Okay, makes sense. Stone furnaces can be re rebuilt by steel furnace without the need to mine the first one first. Okay, so you can basically just replace it. Similar works for assembling machines, transport belts, inserters, chests, and similar. It can be used to change directions of transporter belts. Invoking left mouse button on electric pole will open statistics of the electric networks it's connected to. Okay. Shift plus left mouse button will move a whole item stack. The transfer command is smart enough to figure out where to move the stack. For instance, performing a stack transfer on an iron axe in the main inventory will have it placed into the tool slot. Okay. Oh, there's just so much. Yeah, we don't really need to know all this stuff. Okay, so this... Okay, there we go. This is a useful tip. So those first five, and then if you hold in shift, you can actually use these other five. Q will move an item stack from the cursor into your inventory. Quick bar, okay. If you pl press Alt, you will toggle extended info. That's interesting. The quickest way to build more stuff is to hold the left mouse button on, on the place you want them build and run in the desired direction. Okay. So drive the build key by moving the whole pole will be built in the furthest possible place location. Okay. Didn't know that. Okay, so there is a whole lot of stuff that you need to know. So I could really use some equipment for my crashed ship. Actually there were only like a couple of iron plates, so if 
got enough electricity, I could build a radar to locate the crash site. Oh, it was just a pot, I guess. I have the electricity test set up almost ready, just need some water from the lake. So, we need to build an offshore uh, pump. Sure, makes sense. It's a good thing we have all the resor resources, too. So, let's just build this. Now, we need to build it here. And now we can actually get... Yeah, the water is flowing into steam engine, but it's too cold to produce any electricity. So, let's check this here. Well, we actually have 20 coal, but there was nothing in the chest. So let's put that in there. That will... Yeah. Steam engine is not producing the electricity. Steam engine's efficiency is higher when you get water at 100 degrees. There are more ways to build steam engines, like this. Or this. Okay, makes sense. So... Connect the electric mining grill to the steam and using small electric poles. I guess... No, those, that's not it. Uh, small electric pole. I guess I need some wood for that. But I don't know. I mean, I doesn't say that I have any, any, any what's it called? Um, any power. So that's kind of weird. So let's just do this. Get some coal and put it in here just to m maybe make it all a bit quicker. So let's mine these trees. Well, cut them down anyways. Yeah, getting some rubble. Can't mine the stone, but whatever. So let's... There we go. And now we can make a small electric pole. So let's make one of those. Okay, so let's put it... Oh, I can't because I'm not close enough. There we go! Okay, that's what actually was needed. So, now we have this electric mining drill pumping up uh, coal. In order to build radars, you will need to gather some iron plates and copper plates first. Use electric mining drills to mine the resources. It's much faster than the burning mining drill. Keep a steady flow of coal going into your boilers, otherwise we will run out of electricity. Sure, makes sense. Seems logical. And there we go. So now we need iron plates and copper plates. Okay, so... Do we have any copper up here? No, only stone. Should be lamps. Okay, well... Uh, let's first... Start off... With this... And with this. No, I can't build it. But there, now I can build it. Okay, so there we go. And let's place it around here. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So let's place that and. Ouch. Stop. Attacking me. Should probably put this a bit up here because, you know, I need some space between each of them. So let's build that around here, maybe. There we go. Uh, so yeah, my plan here is to um, just build it all. So here we are, a light. So let's just put it down there and let's put a light down here. So now we can actually see something even though it's night. That's pretty awesome. They're pretty good, these lamps. And now all we need is an inserter. You could still build a burner inserter, but the uh, inserter is better. Oh, actually, I already have some. I completely forgot. So, yeah, let's... Do this. Okay, I forgot. We need some small electric poles, too, so... Makes sense. And... 
there we go just barely and there we go so now these two are powered and will be shift sending off all that all those resources so let's see here what I need now is to put this here and to put down another one around here with a th like that there and let's place that there and let's just place that there with a chest right there. 